Yeah, so I, I put a detailed critique of uh, integrated information theory, which is uh, uh, Giulio Tononi's, uh, you know, proposed uh, theory of consciousness on my blog. Uh, and um, my critique was basically, uh, so, so, so Tononi, you know, comes up with a specific numerical measure that he calls phi, uh, and he claims that a system should be regarded as conscious if and only if uh, phi is large. Uh, now, the, the actual definition of phi uh, has changed over time. You know, it's changed from, from one paper to another, and it's not always clear how to apply it. And, you know, there are many technical objections that could be raised against this criterion. But, you know, what I respect uh, uh, about IIT is that at least it sticks its neck out, right? It proposes this very clear criterion, you know, or at least much, much clearer than competing accounts do, right? Uh, to tell you, you know, this is which physical systems you should regard as conscious and which not. Now, the, um, the danger of sticking your neck out is that it can get cut off, right? And, you know, indeed, I think that IIT is not only falsifiable, but falsified. Because as soon as this criterion is written down, uh, what the point I was making is that it is easy to construct physical systems, you know, that have enormous values of phi, much, much larger, you know, than a human has, and that yet that no, I don't think anyone uh, would really want to regard as as intelligent, you know, let alone conscious or even very interesting. Um, and uh, so my examples, you know, so basically, uh, phi is large if and only if your system is has a lot of interconnection, right? If it's very hard to decompose into two components that interact with each other only weakly. And um, uh, so you have a high degree of in information integration. And so, so my, the point of my counterexamples was to try to say, well, this cannot possibly be uh, the sole relevant criterion. Uh, because we, you know, a, a standard error correcting code, as is used, for example, on every compact disk, you know, has an, also has an enormous amount of information integration, okay? But should we therefore say that, you know, every uh, uh, error correcting code, you know, that gets implemented in some, you know, piece of electronics is, is conscious, right? And um, even more than that, like a giant grid of logic gates just sitting there doing nothing would have a very large value of phi, right? And we can, we can multiply examples like that. Uh, and so now, uh, Tononi uh, then posted a big response to my critique. And his response was basically, well, you're just relying on intuition, right? Uh, you're just saying, oh, well, well, you know, these systems are not uh, 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 conscious because my intuition says that they aren't. But, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, well, well, you know, why, you know the, uh, that's parochial, right? Why should you expect a theory of consciousness to accord with your intuition? And he just then just went ahead and said, uh, yes, the error correcting code is conscious. Yes, the giant grid of exclusive OR gates is conscious. And if they have a thousand times larger value of phi than a brain, then they're a thousand times more conscious than a human is. Uh, so I, you know, the way I described it was he didn't just, you know, bite the bullet. He just devoured like a bullet sandwich with mustard. Okay, uh, you know, which was. Um, Kind of not what, what I was expecting, right? But uh, you know, but but now you know the the critique that you know that I'm saying that any scientific theory has to accord with intuition. I think I think that that is completely mistaken. I think that's really a mischaracterization of what I think, right? I mean, uh, I I'll be the very first to tell you that science has overturned common sense intuition over and over and over, right? I mean, uh, it, like like for example, temperature, you know, feels like an intrinsic quality of a, a, you know, of, of a, a material. It doesn't feel like it has anything to do with motion, with the atoms jiggling around at a certain speed. Okay, but we now know that it does. Uh, but, you know, when, when scientists first arrived at that modern conception of temperature in the 1800s, what was essential was that at least you know, that new criterion agreed with the old criterion that fire is hotter than ice. 
right? So at least in the cases where we knew what we meant by hot or cold, you know, the new definition agreed with the old definition, right? And then the new definition went on, it went further to tell us many counterintuitive things that we didn't know before, right? But at least it, you know, it, 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 it sort of reproduced the way in which we were using words previously. Okay, um, you know, even when when um, um, uh, uh, when 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 Copernicus and Galileo right discovered that the Earth is uh, uh, you know orbiting the Sun, right? You know, the new theory was able to account for our observation that we were not flying off the Earth, right? It uh, you know it said that's exactly what you would expect that to have happen, you know, even in a, in an account you know because of these uh, new principles of inertia and so on. Okay. Uh, um, but, you know, if a theory of consciousness says that, uh, you know, this giant, like, blank wall or this, you know, grid is, uh, is uh, highly, highly conscious, just sitting there doing nothing, right, whereas, like, you know, even like, like a simulated, you know, mich you know uh, uh, or an AI or a simulated person that passes the Turing test would not be conscious, you know, if it's like, uh, uh, organized in such a way that it happens to have a low value of phi, right? I say, well, um, okay, if it, um, uh, 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 you, you still have to, the burden is on you to prove to me that this uh, uh, new, you know, this phi notion that you have defined has anything whatsoever to do with what I was calling consciousness. Right. You haven't, you know, you haven't even shown me any cases where they agree with each other where, and where I should therefore extrapolate to the, case, to the hard cases, the ones where I lack an intuition. Like, you know, at what point is an embryo conscious or when is an AI conscious or whatever. Right. Uh, I mean, it's like, you know, the theory seems to have gotten wrong, like the only things that it could have possibly gotten right. And so then at that point, uh, you know, I think there is nothing to compel a skeptic to say that, you know, this particular quantity phi has anything to do with consciousness.